Hi. Welcome to, The Kingdom Information. I'm Amar Saeed and you are watching, Why Electric Cars Are Better Than Gas Cars, on your favorite YouTube channel, The Kingdom Information. Please watch the complete article, do not forget to subscribe this channel and like video in order to get very important and interesting videos on daily basis. Electric cars are becoming more mainstream, and you're likely not alone in wondering whether an electric car is right for you. As the technology supporting electric cars, EVs, and batteries continue to improve, drawbacks such as high cost, limited range, performance issues, long charge time, and a dearth of charging stations are fading away. Automotive giants such as Volvo are voicing their commitment to converting to electric car only production in the very near future, and even luxury electric vehicles like Tesla are offering more affordable options to the consumer, altering public perception of electric cars as something only approachable by the elite. Electric cars cost less compared to conventional gas vehicles each year. As the cost of electric cars becomes the same as or less than existing vehicles the choice to, go electric, will be obvious. Electric vehicles are already pretty affordable. The cost of operating an electric vehicle will already save you money of the life of the car. In almost every way that counts, an electric car costs significantly less to run and maintain than a gas-powered car. There is no gas to buy, no oil changes, no smog tests, and fewer moving parts to break or wear out. In fact, many electric car owners go years without any repair or service bills at all. Since electric cars have zero tailpipe emissions, we can look forward to cleaner air when there are more electric cars on the road. Cleaner air means less disease in the world, which means less stress on public health systems, hospitals, and so on. In addition, fewer greenhouse gas emissions will save the ozone layer and reduce our carbon footprint. If we can't stop global warming, we can certainly slow down the onset, and EVs are nothing if not a good start with no gas to buy, or oil to change. To refuel, you simply plug in at home, at work or opportunity charge on the road. As an added bonus to EV charging, the power going into your batteries is increasingly produced by renewable sources. Non-renewable electricity charging your electric car is generated domestically. Add a solar array to your home or work and your commute could pay for itself. If you drive an electric car you're obviously planning for the future. In addition to being counted among the ranks of the coolest people around, you'll be making a difference for the environment and saving money. EVs have to pass the same safety tests as gas-powered vehicles, so you can be assured that they are completely safe to operate. In fact many EVs score higher in crash test safety ratings, Tesla Model X for example has a perfect score. A widely circulating concern about EV safety revolves around the potential for fire, but in reality, EVs are far less likely to catch fire than gas cars. On average, gas cars will catch fire at the approximate rate of one fire every 20 million miles driven. For EVs, the rate is one fire per 120 million miles driven. That's 80% less if you're taking notes. With fewer moving parts, there are not many things to break or that need fixing on an electric car. This will save you a lot of time and money over the years, no more having to rent a car while yours is being serviced, no more oil changes, no more failed transmissions. Your mechanic might get a little lonely, but so it goes. You'll still have brakes to maintain, though they will last much longer than they do on a gas-powered vehicle. Your biggest issue may be having to change out your battery, but most models today come with an 8-year, 100k mile warranty. Batteries can last up to 15 years in a mild climate, and any way you toss it, that's pretty good value. Since electric cars have extremely high torque power, their pickup is very quick and smooth, leaving gas-powered vehicles eating dust. Most people are quite surprised at how much more comfortable the ride is too, and some might say that it makes gas-powered cars seem clunky and clumsy. By all accounts, driving an electric car is an absolute pleasure, just ask Richard Branson, who sponsors the Formula E championship car. The performance of electric vehicles extends well beyond torque. Recent electric car models are making huge gains in range performance. This is possible because of advancements in battery technology as well as electric regenerative systems in vehicle braking. A popular recent introduction, the 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV is the first mass-produced electric car anywhere near affordable with an all-electric range of more than 200 miles. 
Another up-and-comer, the VWE Golf sports a 124-mile range. Considering the average commute is around 12 miles 20 kilometers, this gives drivers a lot of wiggle room. If all the previous reasons weren't enough to convince you to go electric, maybe this will privilege. You'll finally get the preferential treatment you deserve or at least crave. Preferential parking spaces located near the entrance to stores, the ability to pass everyone in high occupancy lanes on the highway and free public charging are just a few of the perks. As the downside inherent in any new technology fade away, to go EV or not to go EV will emerge as the easiest decision this generation has to face. Soon the technology skeptics' criticisms over high cost, limited range, performance issues, long charge time, and a dearth of charging stations will fall upon deaf ears. Thanks a lot for watching, The Kingdom Information, YouTube channel. Please like this video and subscribe the channel in order to get very important and interesting videos on daily basis.